Hi. So today, after work, I was cruising through the Facebook videos instead of doing anything that I said I would do, like going to the gym, or changing my sheets, or going to the food store, just anything. I did none of that. Instead, I saw this. That's right, auto brewery syndrome is a real thing. And yes, sufferers can get intoxicated, but it's not as fun as you might think. So yeah, auto brewery syndrome is a real thing, and I'm going to call it ABS from now on because saying the word brewery is really hard, but it's a real thing. And basically what it means is that the sufferer's stomach has an overgrowth of yeast, where the yeast in fact turns food, carbohydrate, sugar into ethanol that can intoxicate the sufferer. Now initially when I saw this, I thought it sounded like the best, cheapest night out, right? Like you can just have a pie, have some ice cream, and you'll get intoxicated. But for the people who suffer, it's anything but that. It's actually a massive pain in the butt. It's a very rare disorder with only a few reported cases, but some of them are as young as three years old. If you are interested, you can see more about this online. Just actually Google auto brewery syndrome and it will come up with a whole lot of information in terms of the medical and the physical aspects of this. But something that really interests me is the effect that this has on the sufferers' lives. The effect it has on these people's lives is massive. People have lost jobs, people have been forcefully put into rehab, and of course, their personal lives and personal relationships suffer a lot. As I said before, there is a wealth of information online. All you need to do is Google auto brewery syndrome and it will come up with a lot of information. Don't Google ABS, by the way, because that will come up with a car braking system, which is also very interesting, but it's not what we're talking about today. But despite all that information out there, one thing is very clear, and that's that we need to know more information about this. For example, the guy in the video that we just saw, he crushed a car, he's a truck driver, right? And he ended up going to court and tried to use the fact that he has auto brewery syndrome as kind of a defense because he wasn't drunk, he was suffering from his own uh, disorder or his own syndrome, but it wasn't successful. And that comes down to the fact that people just don't know enough about this. So while you and I might think that this is really cool and you could use this to kind of get turned on a Friday, a nice cheap way to get drunk, these people have to live with this every day. Think about the fact that every time that you eat sugars or you eat carbohydrates, you would get drunk. Doesn't sound that good to me. It can be treated or minimized by changing diets a little bit. So you would have a diet that's low in carbohydrates, high in protein, as well as minimizing your sugar intake because we all know a lot of alcohol is made out of sugars. So that's what I found interesting today. Instead of doing anything relatively productive like going to the gym or, as I said, changing my sheets or going to the supermarket, I saw this video and it's kind of changed my world. I, initially, I thought that it was going to be really fun and it would be a great video to watch. And I thought, hey, it would be really cool to be able to eat food and get drunk so quickly. But now I see it's not so much. If you found this video really cool, make sure you leave a like. Uh, I'm looking at doing more videos about interesting things that I find on the internet and just talking about it because, after all, it is my channel and I can talk about whatever I like. Thank you for your time and we'll see you again very soon, as always.